Bismillah, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Statics Tutorial Chapter 2 uh, We will focus on uh, dot product for today uh, InsyaAllah, so as usual uh, The questions are from past exam questions The PDF of the question will be in the description box below You can download it and see which question you want to take a look at And the timeline will give, um, you know, be partitioned into the number of questions that we will be covering inshallah right so we have or you should have already covered the lecture um, recording before going into the tutorial so that you know already uh, the concept the equations uh, that will be used inshallah and we have basically three questions that we'll be covering um, so without further ado let's go to the first question so this is the first question if you notice that the structure is the same actually it's because it is the same question as we have covered in the previous tutorial where uh, we split up the segment of the question relevant to the topic that we cover in each tutorial right for for this one this two part actually relates to dot product um, so we have the structure and the question part a is determine the angle between the force 400 newton and the cable AC, right? So we want to have the angle between the, the force and the cable. And part B, determine the projected component of force 400 Newton on the line connecting cable AB and state the answer both as magnitude and Cartesian vector, right? So um, these are two type of, of calculation that we may use dot product, right? Finding angle between two vector as well as finding the projected component on a line. Right, so um, we'll go straight into part A, inshallah. Right, so um, the 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 concept that we will be using is the dot product. Right, so the the basic concept is A dot B equal to A B cos theta. Right, from here, what it means is that if you have two vector A and B with theta angle between them, as long as we have the vector and the magnitude for each, we can calculate uh, theta, right? So in this question part A, what we are considering is the force 400 Newton somewhere there and uh, cable AC, right? So here is A, here is C, right? So this cable. So what the question one is basically that theta. So as long as I can get this 400 Newton, right? As long as I can get vector this, this um, force in vector n as well as uh, in magnitude and whatever vector here in magnitude and also Cartesian vector form we can use dot product uh, to solve for theta right so in this case obviously it's easiest to use f right so because we have f here the magnitude so we need to just get f vector and we already learned this one how to express um, this force into Cartesian vector form in one of the previous tutorial right and here, the easiest way is to get the position vector RAC and from there we can simply just get the magnitude, right? So given that we have all these four um, parameters, vector, magnitude, vector, magnitude, we can use this um, in the form of basically F dot RAC equal to F RAC cos theta, right? So that is basically the idea that you should be able to, you know, play in your mind. Okay, that is the step that I need to do. And basically the parameter that I need is just how to get this in Cartesian vector form, how to get this position vector, and then the magnitude. And then I can just plug in and find theta, right? So hopefully you get that idea. Is it glaring here? Right, so hopefully it's better, you can see. So hopefully you get the idea and now we will get each of these parameters inshallah, right? So, um, for this F, 400 Newton, right? So we have uh, the diagram there where we have the triangle with 30 degrees. So the X component is zero, so zero I y component is uh, plus so plus 400 sine 30 degrees j uh, and z component is downward so minus 400 uh, cos 30 degrees k right 
So that would be how we calculate the vector as we have learned before, right? So we should get is the force. So zero i plus two hundred j um, minus three four six point four one k newton, right? What about RAC and uh, um, so we need the coordinate, right? So we will use what we have learned before about uh, coordinate and position vector. So coordinate A is um, 6, 0, 0. And coordinate of C is 0, 0, 2. Okay. So from here, RAC will be just um, coordinate C minus coordinate A, right? So minus 6i plus 0j plus 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Three, two, four, six meter. This is as meter. This is Newton, right? Okay, so we already have all the component that we need, and then we will apply what we just write before, right? F dot R E C equal to F R E C cos theta. So F dot R E, so we dot these two, right? F and R A C sorry. So this dot this. Hopefully you already understand how we dot uh, we do dot product, right? So meaning that uh, we'll consider X component, for example, X component and X component, right? Zero multiplied by six becomes zero. Um, of course I dot I becomes one, right? So they disappear. Two hundred dot zero is so plus zero. J J of course it become one. This uh, dot with this becomes um, it becomes negative six five two is it? Uh, what is it? Six nine two oh sorry six nine two point eight two equal to f is four hundred so four hundred times R A C R A C is this one six point three two four six and then cos Theta. So, um, cos theta become negative something, is it? Negative 0 0.27386. So, theta become 105.9 degrees. And that is the answer. Alright. So, basically, hopefully you can understand how we begin and then how we plot our way until the end. Right. So, we begin with understanding what we need to use if you just read the question because the question will not say use dot product it will just ask what is the angle between two line or two vector or two force or whatever between this force and this line you have to understand oh that's angle between two line meaning as long as the two line i can express in terms of vector so i can use this because this is a is for one line b is for one line i can find the angle between that line right so and then you can just plot Okay, in this case, F is given, so I'll use F vector, right? In this case, nothing is given, but coordinate is known, so I will use R. That is the easiest one. And then, we calculate. Alright, so that is question number one, part A. Right? So, we will go into part B. So, for part B, um, we have to find the component of the projection of the force on line connecting A, B, right? So, this goes back to the concept of projection of a, of a vector on a line or on an axis, right? So, um, the concept is just if you have a vector A um, and then we have line small a, so we know that A, magnitude of A parallel to axis, meaning this, this component here is equal to A vector dot unit vector of the axis, right? Hopefully you have understand this 
uh, because in the lecture we actually derive this as well right so hopefully you have covered that we understand how it, uh, come, where it comes from right uh, even if you memorize that's also okay as long as you understand this is for what this is for what this is what right okay so based on that in this question what we have is the force like right? we have 400 newton and then we have the line a b right um, of course actually there's two way about it how a uh, two way to to actually solve this if we know the theta here between the two line is just simply f cos theta but if you do not know the easiest way is just to use dot product <coughs> right so um of course when we need the because the question is the projection of this force on this axis right meaning that we need this force in this vector form right so i need f vector right that's number one and i also need this unit vector here so i need unit vector of a b right so meaning that f parallel to line a b will be f vector dot unit vector of a b so that is the first thing that you have to be able to understand okay that is what i need to calculate and then i find this one and then i find this one and then dot product i get the answer right so this f is already we have we have done in the part a right so i'll just reiterate uh what it is this um if the question already meaning that this is part b then you can just use part a uh, answer right for example f is already what it, what was it zero i uh, plus 200 J uh, minus 346.41 K Newton right we know this already from part A otherwise you know you should know already how to calculate anyway right from this magnitude to this one um, so this one is settled what about you a B so we need the coordinate of a and B right so coordinate of a is 600 600 coordinate of b is 0 minus 3 2 0 minus 3 2 all right so for this one um, if i write over here right r a b is b minus a right so minus 6 i minus 3 j plus 2 k and then r a b is just square root of 6 square plus 3 square plus 2 square and you should get you should get 7 so unit vector for AB is just vector RAB divided by magnitude RAB right so all of this divided by 7 so you'll get minus 6 over 7i minus 3 over 7j plus 2 over 7 k that is the unit vector now if you are not convinced this is unit vector you can try find this magnitude right square root of this square plus this square plus this square it should be one that shows that it is a unit vector because by definition unit vector is a vector where the magnitude is one all right so we already have this and we already have this so having obtained both vectors here where f is already here unit vector a b is already there what is left is dot product right so uh, what we uh, we are going to do is just um, get the x component dot dot with each other y component z component why is that we already explained in the, the lecture video right uh, the concept so here we just straight we're going to calculate so if i'm doing step by step f and u so uh, x component will be zero multiplied by minus 6 over 7 right and then plus so we have 200 uh, times minus 3 over 7 there and then plus we have here minus 3 4 6 point 4 times 2 over 7 there so if we multiply this one this one becomes 0 this one becomes negative uh, 85 point seven one and then this one becomes minus 98.97 right 
uh, as you can see vector dot vector becomes scalar right so this value here will be minus 184.68 newton right so this is the magnitude and uh, when we say it is magnitude um, there must be a question about this negative right because a force doesn't have a negative value um, normally it means is this just the opposite direction right so what this means is this is actually uh, indicating that force this force when we get the parallel component to this uh, line a b it is not in the direction of a b but it is in the direction of b a right so if we are to illustrate so this is the axis of a b right that go, go across a b um, if we project this force on this axis so it actually will be having this component here actually right with this value 184.68 so when we calculate from the beginning we assume the direction is a b because we assume u in the direction of a b right r a b um, so that's why it gives you the negative value because it indicates actually it is in the opposite direction if from the beginning we consider from b to a we will actually get positive right so that is the explanation of this value here okay but the magnitude is that number going back to the question the question actually asks both for the magnitude as well as the um, Cartesian vector form right so how to get f parallel to a b in a Cartesian vector form in terms of i j k how to do that of course it's just like any other where we have the magnitude f parallel to ab times the unit vector of ab you will get the vector of uh, f parallel to ab in vector form right so it's just basically this number multiplied by this unit vector here right so if we multiply negative 184.68 with all of this what you will get is 158 0.3 will, will be positive because negative and negative become positive uh, i and then plus 79.15 j minus 52.77 k newton right so that will be in the format of Cartesian vector there so um in the textbook sometimes they skip if the question actually asks straight away for the vector sometimes you might notice in the the in the textbook they skip and they they combine these two steps where you'll have something like f parallel a b if i'm doing in this format will be f dot u a b and then they write it u a b right some student ask what is this where does it come from actually this combine two steps this is dot, dot product to get the magnitude and then the magnitude multiplied by the unit vector you get the vector right this is dot this is multiply so the way you write have to be clear this is dot this doesn't have any dot right so um, when you write in statics in mechanics when you put dot it doesn't mean multiply when you do multiply you just do bracket like this do not put dot here right so make sure you distinguish it, that all right so that is basically for this question part b where we have found what is the projected component of f on the axis a b both in scalar and as well and as, as a vector form all right so moving on to the second question now we are looking at the second question so we have a structure here with two part of question one is determine the angle between two force two forces acting on the sign at point a so if you look at point a you have um, f b as well as fc so we want to find the angle between the two forces and part b determine the magnitude of the projection of the force fb along the line ad right so this is similar to um, the previous question where one question one part is asking for theta uh, between two line or two f uh, vectors another one asking for projection of a force on a line right so this is common question to come up in the midterm actually right so make sure you are prepared for this because it is quite repetitive in the this format um, finding theta as well as finding projection projected component all right so part a 
we have two forces at point A. So basically the concept, hopefully you still remember from the previous question, um, when we have, uh, or when we need to find theta between two angles. So if we, we know the two line, we know the magnitude as well as the vector for each line, we can use A dot B equal to AB cos theta, which is the dot product, right? So we have just to identify, right? So in this case, there will be a B and a C, right? So we uh, the question asks for theta between the two lines, right? So as long as we can get uh, the easiest one, we will use position vector, right? So as long as I can get R A B and R A C, if I dot this, it will be R A B. R A C cos theta, right? Because this is A vector, this is A magnitude. This is B vector, this is B magnitude, this is cos theta. From A dot B equal to A B cos theta, right? So our task is just to find each of this and then plug in, we can, we can calculate theta. So uh, we will start with the coordinate, right? So coordinate of A is 700. Zero zero. Coordinate of B is 0, 3, 4. Coordinate of C is 0, negative 3, 4. 0, negative 3, 4. Right. So from there on, it's just repeating what we have done before. Right. So for RAB vector, it will be just B minus A. So minus 7I plus 3J plus 4K. So R A B, you should know by now what to do. Square root of everything. Square root of seven square plus three square plus four square. Um, so I'm just jumping to the number. It should be eight point six zero two three, right? So we already have R A B and R A B vector and magnitude. Now for R A C, so I'm writing it here. R A C. So C minus A. So it will be minus seven I minus 3j plus 4k and then the magnitude is just going to be the same uh, 8.6023 oh, right because basically the length is the same of the two cable so what to do next is just rab dot rac equal to rab rac cos theta so if i'm doing the left hand side here this dot this so what we'll get is negative 7 if i'm writing here minus 7 times minus 7 7 minus 7 and then plus with 3 uh, negative 3 plus with 4 4 right then equal to this one 8.6023 and then 8.6023 and then cos theta right okay so from here, basically, you can just calculate, right? So here, do verify the calculation. So cos theta will equal to 0 0.7568. Theta will be 40.8 degrees. So that is the angle between the two cables, right? So uh, as long as you understand what to do and why you are doing it, it should be straightforward um, to secure marks in the midterm actually, right? So as long as when you, whenever you get the question, find theta between two lines, you know what to do, right? Uh, first visualize what's going on and then find what you need to find the parameters and then just plug in calculation. All right, so going to part B. Okay, for part B, um, the question again, determine the magnitude of the projection of force FB along the line AD, right? So basically the axis is uh, AD and the force is FB, right? So F, FB is something like this. Can I do that? Okay, something like that towards B, right? So um, what is the projection? Meaning what is the projection here, right? In term of, okay, in this case it doesn't say, oh, let's see determine the magnitude of the projection so we just want to find what is because if this is fb fb so what is fb 
uh, parallel to AD or projected on AD, right? So based on uh, the dot product, we know FB projected on AD is FB dot unit vector of AD, right? So the vector of the force itself dot with the unit vector of the axis, right? Hopefully by from the lecture you already memorized that equation or Better yet, you can derive it if you forgot, right? It's easy to derive. Um, okay, so um, we need to find both of these, right? So we need to find one by one. For FAB, so for FAB, we need to use the coordinate, position vector, unit vector, and then force vector, right? So the coordinate of A again is 7, 0, 0. And coordinate of B is, we have done this before, so 0, 3, 4. Right. So R, A, B uh, again is minus 7, I plus 3, J plus 4, K. R, A, B magnitude is, what was it again? Is 8.6023. Uh, unit vector of A, B will be, if you uh, this divide by this one, so 7 divided by negative 7 divided by 8.6023 is minus 0 0.8137i um, plus and then 0 0.3487j um, plus 0 0.4650k. That will be the unit vector. Right? And FB, the magnitude is already given. FB magnitude is 400 Newton. So FAB in the vector form is just 400 times unit vector of AB. Right? So if you multiply 400 with all of this, what you will get is minus 325.48 I plus 13. 9.48j plus 186k right you can always verify whether to see whether you have made a mistake or not right for example if you find magnitude of this it should be 1 if find magnitude of this it should be 400 right so because logically it is we know the value is 400 right so if you do square root of everything here you get something else something is wrong there right okay mm, so we have this part f uh, the F vector, right? Now we need to find UAD. So this is be between A and D. So D is D is 300, is it? 300 300, alright. So then RAD is D minus A. So minus 4I plus 0J plus 0K. Right? Um, RAD magnitude is simply 4 and then UAD will be simply just minus I or plus 0J plus 0K if you want to write in full right of course just from the diagram you should be able to tell this actually unit vector from A to D is just negative I right because it's on the x-axis in the negative direction right having said this then when you do this then it's straightforward right so f parallel to oops, parallel to ad the magnitude is just dot between f and uad so f is where this one and then uad is here right? so this one dot this one you simply get 325.48 right because negative and negative become positive i and i become one this and this become zero this and this become zero so plus zero plus zero Okay, if we are writing in full, so it's basically just 325.48 Newton, right? Uh, Newton, yeah. That will be the projected component of the force FB there, 400 there, uh, on the line of AD, right? In other words, actually, um, the component on AD is actually the X component, right? So basically, this is simply just the X component. And why do you get positive? 
because I, I assume UAD is negative I, meaning that we already assume the direction is from A to D. And of course, the force is in that, that direction. Right? If I assume UDA from D to A, I assume unit vector is I positive, then I will get negative here to indicate that it's actually the opposite way. Right? So that's the meaning of things. Um, so that is part B of this question two. We'll move on to question three. Okay, this is question number three in this topic. Um, this is another question. Actually, it's a longer question, but we are focusing on the dot product part. So the question is given as, uh, as, as, as follows. A small peg P rests on a spring that is contained inside the smooth pipe. When the spring is compressed so that L is 1.2 meter, the spring exerts an upward force of 80 newton on the peg. Of course, we in chapter 2, we haven't learned yet about what is the reaction of force, etc. What is equilibrium. So that will be later, right? But on our part is one part here. It says, use dot product to find the angle between chord PB and the chord PC. Meaning that there's a chord PB, chord PC, what is the angle between the two chords, right? So that's essentially the question. So... Um, we have point P on top there and then there's uh, point B over here and point C over here basically and the question says what is this angle so if you understand the question that way straight away you know uh, I can use dot product of course in this question it actually specified use dot product so perhaps in this semester um, the lecturer want to help the student or they want to avoid student using other way to calculate the angle right because uh, then the, the calculation will be so long and the lecturer become uh, you know it's quite difficult to mark uh, as such right so we straight away specify okay use dot product don't use other method all right so what we need is so if we okay the easiest way again if you just have the coordinate the easiest one to get is just the position vector right so if i know r p b and then i know also r p c then I can get the magnitude as, as well, RPB, RPC, cos, theta, I can calculate for theta, right? This is again from A dot B equal to AB cos theta. Um, right, now, um, one question, can you use RBP instead of RPB? Well, basically you cannot, right? Because this goes back to how it, this is derived, right? How A dot B equal to AB cos theta, both vector A and B should be from the same point. If it's like this, then you, you, the, the equation is not valid. Right? It's, it's the angle is there, if you can imagine. Right? If the force is in this direction and this direction, the angle starting from the same point is this one. Right? If, yeah, so you, you get the picture. Going back here. All right, so what I did is the coordinate so that I can calculate everything. So coordinate for P is 0, 0, 1.2. So 0, 0, 1.2. Hopefully, from the question, you understand, right? So, it's uh, upwards from the origin, 1.2 meter. Um, coordinate for B is 0, minus 0 0.9, 0. And part C, co uh, coordinate C is negative 0 0.4, ne negative 0 0.4, zero point four, zero 0.30. All right, so R P B is just B minus P. So zero minus zero is zero I, and zero minus zero point nine minus zero is minus zero point nine J. Zero minus one point two minus one point two K. Right. So R P B, if you calculate the magnitude, which is square root of zero square plus zero point nine square plus one point two square, you will get. 1.5 right uh, i'm just writing it straight away here because i verbally explained to you and i expect you to understand what to write right you cannot jump you you, you should show the steps right especially if mistake happen the step will still give you marks if you jump calculation like this and this is a mistake you lose all the marks there because you do not show that you understand we do not know where this come from right all right um and then our PC, right? So this minus this, so minus 0 0.4i plus 0 0.3j 
minus 1.2k so rpc the magnitude if square root of 0.4 square plus 0.3 square plus 1.2 square you get 1.3 now here if we continue this way so this dot this one meaning this dot this one so 0 times 0 negative 0 0.4 right? 0 and negative 0 0.4 plus negative 0 0.9 times uh, 0 0.3 plus negative 1.2 times negative 1.2 equal to uh, rpb rpc so 1.5 1 1.3 cos theta right so if you solve this so meaning that you'll get cos theta equal to 0 0.6 theta equal to 53.1 degrees yep so if it seems straight away is if it seems quite straightforward by now it is because it is actually straightforward, right? As long as you understand and you do enough practices, all of this will become straightforward, inshallah. The only thing is to just to minimize or actually avoid any mistakes, right? So sometimes I did mistake as well. So please verify and check all these numbers. So we'll move on. Oh, no, there's no part B. This is actually the one because in this particular question, in this exam, it doesn't ask for projection angle. Right? It just straight away asks for theta and we have get this theta and that's it for this tutorial inshallah so that is example of um, question that involve dot product right except for this one the uh, the two previous exam question do not even mention it do not even mention dot product we ourselves need to know oh angle between two vector dot product projection of force on a line dot product right hopefully you get that idea um, with that inshallah hopefully you are pre well, well prepared for chapter two um, for the midterm, inshallah, and also for the final if it come back in the final. Wallahu alam. So we'll end here. Uh, I think this is the end of chapter two. Uh, next, we will go into chapter three, inshallah. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashhad an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka. Tabulek. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.